Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about two tools that I learned from retail arbitrage sellers that have really, really helped me in the private label business and product research. Um, so what is retail arbitrage? Retail arbitrage is a business model where you go out into retail, whether online or in-store, and you find a product and you either pay for it at a discounted price or sometimes even full view full retail value and you're able to sell it online on Amazon, eBay, wherever for a profit. There's a lot of people doing this business model and doing it very well. Um, and they use certain tools because they have to go through sometimes thousands of products and uh, determine the profitability of them and, uh, and all of that. It's a great way, retail arbitrage is a great way to get started before private label because it's pretty easy to go out and acquire something either online at a retail store or walking into a retail store yourself and then simply listing it on Amazon via the add a product tool in Seller Central. And, um, and you can even use the seller app on your phone. And then you just send it in to Amazon FBA so you learn how to create a shipment with one product instead of a thousand and you learn the ins and outs of selling on Amazon this way. So a lot of people start with retail arbitrage uh, and many keep keep going because they just love it and there's so many different products that you can sell. But either way, if you're a private label seller and you're wanting to do some great product research, some of the tools that retail arbitragers use are really great tools. So the two tools that I'm gonna talk about today are Chrome extensions as well as you can go to their website. Um, the first one that we're gonna talk about is Keepa. And this is what the Chrome extension looks like right here, this little plus sign. And the second one that we're going to talk about is DS Amazon Quick View, which is this little one that looks like a fist in the air. <laughs> um, so let's say I want to sell dog collars and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going to sell dog collars, but let me look on Amazon for dog collars, right? Well, the thing is, you can see there's all of these. Okay, well, let's say I'm going to make a dog collar for small dogs, whatever. Um, and so <laughs> When I'm a, a seller doing product research, I can either use a product research tool like Jungle Scout or whatever, but I like to use Amazon itself because it's going to show me in reality what customers are also seeing. So, um, you know, I'm looking at how many pages there are, all of this, but do you see how I get the product rank and the ASIN right here on my front page of Amazon? That is, um, DS Amazon. This is the free version, so I don't get the BSR, the best sales rank history or the price history because that would be the extended version, the paid version. But just for the free version, I get the product rank right on the main page and I also get um, the ASIN and it tells me how many sellers there are. So I can easily tell, okay, this one's private label, right? I can also see what products are sold by Amazon, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm looking at the products on page one and this Diaz quick view tool allows me to see ranks very easily. So it's really interesting to me, I think, um, when I see sponsored product ads, right? This one's 31,000 in pet supplies. Um, this one's 60,000 ranked in pet supplies. Um, and those are sponsored ads, right? But they still get to show up at the top of page one because they're bidding high for that keyword, right? Uh, but then we see down here, uh, the very first one that shows up, this is where uh, your listing optimization comes in because we searched for the keyword dog collars for small dogs. Yet the very first listing that shows up that's not an ad is this one right here. And this one's ranked 16,000. And yet the best seller is ranked 347 and um, it's number two on page one. So you can see that how you optimize your listing for certain keywords and how um, and, and how you're putting thing, different things in your title and also how people find you for various keywords will, sh will change how you show up on the page. But just because you're number one on page one uh, for this specific keyword does not mean you're the highest ranking. So we can see this using the DS Amazon Quick View tool. All right, the next thing that I wanna show you guys is, um, is Keepa. So Keepa, 
is a great way you can go either to their website for free and just click the search button and I search dog collars for medium dogs and you can see right here that I can look at any of the um, the various results and they'll give me the title they'll give me the price point all of this right so I can kind of look at it all on one page well let's say that I really like you know mine is very close to the one that I'm wanting to private label is just this very simple one $12.95 <laughs> terrible private label idea, right? But let's say that I'm differentiating this one in a way that is just amazing. And uh, so this is my closest competitor. I want to know more about them. So I can click right here and they'll bring up the Keepa chart. And what I'm able to see is I'm able to show, okay, this product has only been on the market here for 835 days, but you can change this range. Uh, it's sold in new condition. And you can see it's been at Six, since October, it's been at um, $12.95 the entire time. Its price has not changed. Okay. Um, the other thing is I can look at its statistics. So I can see that at its lowest price at $12.95, um, it is been ranked 10,168. The average sold per month is eight per month. And uh, I can see its various sales ranks. So its highest sales rank we can see is over a million in pet supplies. So that must have been, um, you know, soon after it may be launched, January 28th of 2017. Um, so, you know, the price difference hasn't really changed, but you can actually check on your competitors. Let's, let's look at a competitor and see if there's been some price changes and what that's done to their rank. So let's go to one of these. Um, let's pick one that's maybe a different. OK, so maybe this dog training collar. These are pretty popular. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, so you can see Amazon has sold it. It's been sold in new, and it's been sold in used conditions. And we can set this for today, the week, the month, the last three months, or all, the entire sales history. So you can see the price differences in November 2017. It's, you know, dipping down 34.85, 35.85. And we can just look at the price history over time. We can even see when lightning deals were ran, um, all of that. Um, and we can see Amazon was selling it throughout this whole time right here for $30.88. And then after Amazon got done selling it, you can see the prices go back up. Uh, but anyway, this is a great way to look at our competitors and what they've done. So they've run lightning deals on this. They've gotten things moving. Well, now let's look at their statistic here. So we can see their lowest sales rank that they've ever had was number three. And it was um, it was on November 7th, 2018. And they sell an average of 159 per month. And in the last 180 days, their sales rank was 116. So you get an idea of their sales rank over time and the prices when that happened. So let's look at when Amazon was selling it at $30.88. Um, at that point, the sales rank was August 1st, 2018. So yeah, it's gone up quite a bit since then. Um, so it was between 47 and 116 in the last 180 days. But on average, they're selling 159 per month. So as you look through your competitors, this is a great way to see your competitors all at once. There are different price comparisons, different sellers that have been on their listing. Um, you know, And it's a great way to see, well, retail arbitrage, uh, sellers use this to see whether or not this is a profitable product, you can do so as well when you're doing some of your market research as a private label seller. Um, so this Keepa tool also shows up on Amazon within the listing if you have the Chrome extension. So here, if I click on, let's click on uh, this one right here, this blueberry. So now I go down into here. Oh my goodness, holy variations. <laughs> and you can see the Keepa chart now loads, right? And this one obviously has been at $8.99 the whole time. 
but I can click on the statistics here. I can compare Amazon prices. I can share the graph with someone else. I can get more historical data. Um, you can also track products. So if you go on Keepa, you can log in for free. You can sign up for free and you can track a product over time. So um, you can add a product and track it and see how it's doing. So if you're wanting to track your competitors, if you're wanting to track your own products, this is a great, um, free way to do that. Uh, so just just showing off these two tools today, I hope you guys find them useful. And if you install them in your Chrome uh, extensions, you're gonna be able to uh, get this data right on Amazon as you're searching.